everyone. As you can see, we have some more Star Wars The Black Series figures in front of us. Uh, I had originally pre-ordered these from Hasbro Pulse uh, directly. Uh, I canceled them as soon as I saw that Shop Disney actually had them. Uh, so I was able to use a bunch of discounts and it was significantly less expensive. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and unbox Greedo here. Uh, and then in future videos, we'll go ahead and unbox Solo as well as Skywalker as well. Uh, in this video, obviously, we're going to unbox Greedo, but we'll take a closer look at the packaging on him and also compare him to the Amazon exclusive uh, that was a 50th anniversary figure. Uh, so, um, yeah, if you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. That way you can see the other two unboxings. And with that, we'll go ahead and unbox Greedo. Before we actually unbox the figure, what we'll do is take a look at the packaging. Like I said, uh, as you can see, we've got the, the film look of Greedo, the picture right there. And uh, as you can see, we've got what he's wearing there and then the blaster if we go to the back. And I kind of like this card here. Uh, you know, it's got, you know, what his height is, 1.65 meters. We've got the status, which is bounty hunter, classification, Rodian, affiliation, freelance, and weapon of choice, blaster pistol. Uh, and then also over here on the back, we've got the timeline of where this fit in. And this was the original tri trilogy, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox them. What I found is the best way to do it is just to follow the bubble all the way around. And that typically will get us pretty close to what we want. I'll go ahead and leave a little bit on the bottom. That way we can just take, take that bubble out. And there we go, actually. We don't need that. All right. All right, I am liking this figure so much better than the Amazon exclusive. I understand what they were going for with the 50th anniversary one, the original 50th anniversary one, you know, with the Kenner packaging and everything, but uh, this looks so much better. So we'll be taking a closer look at this in just a moment here um, and comparing them, I should say. All right, before I go any further, uh, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you uh, do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the blaster first. Uh, it, it's better than just the plain plastic one, which I believe we actually got on this one. Um, what I like about it is that if I can get him to stand up, there we go, uh, is that you've got a little bit of metallic. Hopefully that shows off there. Um, so it it's not just black plastic. So I'm happy that they did that. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more light here so we can go ahead and take a better look at Greedo's face. The eyes have very nice looking reflection. We've got the head, which has the... Uh, the spikes on it, and then uh, the vest here. The vest looks like it might be removable. I'm not going to take it off, however. It's, it doesn't seem to be attached. Could be wrong, but it does not appear to be attached. Um, the belt, wow, that is perfect. I like the fact that we've got the leather look to it and then the metallic over there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at Greedo's articulation here. This is all the way down. This is all the way up. You know, we've got a little bit of limitation because of the head and then the shirt there. Arms, we're gonna be able to go all the way up, which is good. No movement at the upper arm, but uh, that's all going to be at the elbow. Go ahead and take a look, about 90. And also about 90 on this one as well. Obviously the blaster is only gonna be able to go in one hand, <laughs> not gonna be going in that hand, just like the Amazon exclusive one. And, uh, and then normal uh, movement there. Not a whole lot of movement at the torso. And that's, I don't know why, because um, the, 
the vest isn't really hindering it. Uh, I guess they figured you weren't going to be doing that much movement there. Uh, it is it looks like a double knee, as you can see. That's about as far as you're going to go. Um, so yeah, I mean it's a. I like the fact that he's not like perfectly clean. He's got a rough look to him. To him, uh, you've got the uh, the dirt on the legs as well as on the chest area. Uh, but the belt, I think, is my favorite. It's got a very good leather look to it. And then uh, the blaster and the holster. Let's see if that... It's a tight fit in there. It's a really tight fit. I don't remember the other one being... There we go. So there we go there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take some pictures. We'll obviously take some pictures comparing uh, these two figures. If you did not already see uh, this figure, uh, I've got a link right up here. Hopefully uh, where you can take a closer look at the figure as well. Uh, but uh, I mean, overall so far I'm liking the figure, but what we're gonna do is take some pictures now. We'll come back and uh, talk about some of the things that I found while taking the pictures and uh, we'll talk about some of the things I like and maybe do not like about the figure. So I think that was a good look at Greedo here. As you can see, there are some distinct differences between the Kenner version and the, the new uh, Power of the Force version of Greedo here. Personal preference here as a collector uh, that's going to put this on the shelf, especially with a bunch of other figures. The Power of the Force figure definitely is the one that I am going to focus on. Uh, I'm not upset that I have the Kenner one, uh, especially since I was looking for a Greedo, so uh, that's awesome there. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna put uh, this one center stage. Highlights, definitely, you know, the, the coloration is just definitely more uh, accurate. I may end up using this guy, uh, the Kenner version, in different places on the shelf, maybe not necessarily as Greedo himself. That way that would you know, work out. Um, but, uh, you know, the coloration on the belt, I keep coming back to that. I think they did a super awesome job on that. I also liked the, uh, the dirt, dirt and weathering that we've got on the body. I wish they would have done something a little bit more like that on the vest. Uh, but I mean, overall, I really like this figure. I'm glad that I was able to get it via shop Disney. Um, but uh, I, I believe the Hasbro Pulse one has not even shipped yet. So if you can't get it through Shop Disney, you can definitely get it there. Uh, so uh, yeah, good look at the figure. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, such as Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series, but also going to theme parks, home automation, electronics, and that sort of thing as well. So with that, have a great day.